What's up ladies? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm your girl Lorna Marie and today for you I'm bringing you a Christmas organization video. This is going to be how I take down and pack up all my gear so I'm ready for next Christmas season. My husband's already happy, you know, because he's like, oh, there was so much stuff in here, but your girl likes some Christmas decorations. If you're into this sort of video, definitely consider subscribing and hitting that little bell so you're notified every time I post a video. I do a lot of lifestyle, mommy, organization videos here on my channel and I would just love to have you guys. There's not going to be a lot to list as far as like products because you know how those Christmas bins, they just, they're gone. So I even went back to try to get some more of these large ones, which I'll be showing you guys. And yeah, so that's probably not going to happen, but I will be listing all the regular stuff, past videos, what I'm wearing, my makeup, all that good stuff, all those questions that you guys have. And if you feel like depositing some positive energies, give your girl a thumbs up. I so appreciate it. Now, before we get into the video, you guys can skip this part if you're new here and this may not be as interesting to you, but this is for my peoples, my regulars that know what's been going on with me. Um, I'm going to update you because Thanksgiving, you guys know that I had um, some technical difficulties with my computer and I thought those days were over. I'd like to consider myself new to YouTube. I've only been doing it for six months and I have a little over 50 videos. So I um, was super proud of myself. I feel like I ended the year really well, but I went to go edit a video for you guys. I was doing easy Christmas appetizers and sides. I finished editing my whole video, okay? And I went to go do a voiceover and my computer completely crashed. I was mortified, okay? I was like, oh, I like cried. I don't ever cry, I'm not really a crier, but I actually cried because I had spent hours filming it and if anybody else out there feels me, if you filmed this type of video before, you will feel my pain. It takes, it's so tedious and like you're repeating stuff and I even like had to refilm a part and for it to just like disappear and Macs don't do this. So I don't know, I just got lucky, I guess. <laughs> but um, so I'm taking that computer and I'm getting it all wiped out and so I have, plenty of room on there but I got a new laptop for Christmas so that's why I'm here today I'm so excited because I can actually start doing stuff for you guys but I've been gone for the last two weeks which feels super weird because for the last six months I've been at least posting you know anywhere from one to four videos so thank you guys so much for being patient with me and hopefully I can get this together and I kind of understand now I would watch people on Instagram and I would never understand why they were filming stuff so early or I'm like girl it's Christmas put take your tree down you know what I mean like I don't understand why you're doing Christmas in Halloween time I I understand will I be one of those people no I will never have Christmas stuff Christmas stuff up during October or um, during Thanksgiving I couldn't even think but um, I just don't really like going through holidays with other holidays decor up that's just not me and I just feel like if it's the end you know of Thanksgiving to you know Christmas I'll have a good month there and honestly I'm good with that my husband's like do it earlier so it can be up and I'm just like nope I just, I can't do it, so who knows, maybe my mind will change. Anyways, um, I plan my whole year out on my videos. I have a bunch of organization. I have travel videos coming up. Those are really popular. I had a lot of people asking me about my travel items, so I'm super excited to get those out for you guys. Thank you again so much for being patient, and without further ado, let's get into the video. Like a All right, you guys, so we are gonna go downstairs into my living room, and this is where I have stacked up all of my bins, and I'm loving these big ones. Now, I got these from Big Lots. They were 20 bucks, and they're all out, which I'm super bummed, because I feel like having the bigger ones, it's easier, because you can just pack them and bring a couple bins in instead of like 20 bins. So, I have some medium-sized ones and some smaller ones. I'm going to show you guys how I organize everything, how I'd like to organize them in the future when I get a couple more of these bins, and what's inside of everything. This is my wall of Christmas bins, okay? Do you see this? It's crazy. <laughs> but I'm loving these super big ones in the back here. I absolutely love them. They hold so much. Um, it has my kids' Christmas trees in one and my um, trees for my um, entryway. And then I have flock trees, which is my, that's actually my kid's Christmas tree and another one that goes into the dining room. So, and then I have the garland that is flocked in with the flocked tree stuff. And then the ones that aren't are in the other one because, you know, the flock stuff's kind of messy. So I keep those separated, but it's so nice to just have the huge bins of all the trees. 
and then in the other one it's all of my mantle stuff so everything that goes on the mantle and I like to do things similar but um, I switch little things up so I'll just keep those things in an area and I can always switch things I'm not bound to it but I like having things in a general area because I like to do liked items um, you know on my mantle you'll be able to see that in just a second I have these little tiny bins that I organize all of my ornaments into and I like to do them by type because for me I like having my ornaments symmetrical I like to know where things are at and this way everything's organized and I can just grab things and make you know do my tree really really easily now my kids ones aren't organized because I need some more bins um, I we added some more to their collection this year so I didn't know how many I was gonna need but next time or if I see some go on sale I'll be able to purchase them because I don't like buying Christmas stuff unless it's on sale <laughs> and then next I have um, everything sorted into like I have all of my Christmas trees in one bin here and it just you know I use these uh, dollar store things to house them and to um, keep them protected so I keep all that in there these like the big ones I take a small one and then I can like store them inside I'll even take these guys and if I need to I can wrap this around I can even take this and go like this if it's like a really fragile one and I don't want to mess it up and then I just stick it on top like that so I'm starting to load my little trees inside of here all wrapped up okay and this is what it looks like. then I have my cocoa bar and my coffee bar I put all of that stuff in one container and then um, I just pretty much put liked items stuff that goes in the kitchen stuff that I used to decorate my dining room table everything has a bin and that it goes in and everything is labeled so I know what's inside things can change like I said but as long as I have a general idea that way things don't get lost <laughs> and then I also have bins for like my linens which is tree skirts, blankets, pillows, stuff like that that I like to throw on the couch during the season and I pack it all up. Also, um, I get fur rugs. I love having fur rugs at the bottom. It just kind of feels like snow, but it's fur and it just, I love the way that it looks. Everything's white and really beautiful, so I have that. I have my entrance trees in here, which are two tall, skinny, um, they're like called pencil trees, but they're tall. And then I have my stairs garland and a bunch of different garland that's not flocked. And then I have the ones down here that are. So this is my kids tree. This is the dining tree and um, flocked garland. So I kind of keep the flock stuff together so it doesn't, you know, get this stuff messed up up here. But I love how everything fits. And then my husband and I can just bring in like one giant bin at a time instead of like a million little ones. So. Now I have all of my fireplace stuff organized in here. Um, so, and this is for both fireplaces and I can add or whatever, but this is what I normally like to have at my fireplace. So I keep everything for the fireplaces in this large one here. Now, this is my kids decor. I'm gonna show you guys how I organize mine over here, but um, I'm gonna be getting some more of those size um, containers because I like to organize them by type. But this year, um, we didn't have we just got all new ornaments so I wasn't prepared to organize them that way but anyways I stuck all of the kids tree decor in here including their ribbon and then I have um, this little joy sign that I put over top so that's just all in there then this is my extra large ornaments that go on my tree I keep those all in a container I have my ribbon I don't have the lid to this one so I just stacked it which is perfectly fine and this lid is also missing let me know down below if that happens to you but <laughs> I have all of our large ornaments. So these are the extra large ornaments and these are my larger ornaments and then snowflakes. And I listed these separately because I will be separating them eventually so I don't have to remake a label. But for now that I have my snowflakes and my large ornaments um, inside this bin together. Okay, so this one I have all of my small trees which there's glass, there's like all different kinds of materials but I wrap them like I showed you guys using these dollar store they're like tree not tree but a uh, chair covers um, for Christmas and I wrap a bunch of stuff to keep it safe all the glass and or things that are like you know sparkly and I don't want it to get everywhere so then I have like my kitchen stuff in this one this I like to do it by room so these small trees I can add everywhere else 
which is usually like my fireplace is where I usually like to have extra tree trees. But um, my kitchen, I like to have all my kitchen stuff together, what I could possibly want for the kitchen. And then this is my coffee bar and serving stuff. Now I'm gonna be getting some more like Christmas serving platters and putting them in here. I have a couple that um, haven't made it yet, but I'll be adding those in here very soon. And then down here I have all of my dining room stuff. This is place settings, napkin rings, napkin holders, like literally everything that goes for the dining room goes inside of here. Okay, then I have all of my wrapping stuff. This is like one of the largest bins that I have. It's not clear at the bottom, but that's totally fine. I've had this for years and I'm just gonna wear it till the wheels fall off, but I absolutely love having all of my wrapping stuff in a container together. I'll show you guys um, how that looks and how I organize everything inside of this. Here is my wrapping paper stuff. So in this one I have like little mini stockings and stuff like that and the bags and all that stuff. And then on the side here, this is just all of the bags and boxes. I just shove them on the side. This never comes out. So then I stick this here like so, smushes down. But this is just some bows. And then I put this in here. I wanted to show you guys, I also keep this on top. It keeps my scissors, um, tape, I have usually a couple. And then in the back here, this is all of my like little tags and everything and that just sits inside of here as well so that stays in there inside of this stand up thing i have all of our wrapping paper stuff and then i put all of our tissue paper in there too then this is all of my linen so this is all of my tree skirts my um and the same one in here tree skirts and blankets and pillows that go onto my couch Sorry, I can't even think straight. Okay, then here's another bin for Christmas. And I wanted to show you guys. So not only is it labeled here, but I also do one on the top, just in case they get turned around or whatever happens. But I do that with even these ones here, there'll be one on the top of this lid. And even the large ones that have multiple things, they're all still labeled at the top there. Now we're getting to these guys, which I absolutely love these. Eventually I will get all red top ones but for now these are working just fine but i organize all of my ornaments for my main tree that i decorate not the kids tree into containers by like item so everything that is similar because i like to do things very symmetrical so i keep everything in its own container like these are not all the same but they're very similar they're like character type of items and then these are all of like my picks. So they all go together, which I love things being organized like that. Now, this is my, I'm gonna be doing a new system for this because I've just had this for years and I just do whatever needs to be done first. Like I needed these big containers first, so I don't wanna spend a million dollars on stuff, but I will go back next year and I will probably re be, uh, be replacing these two because my lids are gone. This one's broken right here, which I'm totally fine. It's gonna work in the garage for now, but um, this is overflowing, so we need another system. But anyways, it's gonna be good for now. I'm not worried about it. I have another little sign back here and then another big one here that does not go on top. So I'll probably put those into like garbage bags or something and just tuck these away on top of here. But in this one right here, I have tall Christmas trees. And so like this one, I love this one so much. I'm pretty sure I got this from Home Goods. And then I slide, I slid another one in here like that. So there's two inside of here. Oh, see in the garbage bag. Oh crap. Okay, so there's a garbage bag in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I put the garbage bag in here and then that way they don't like rub against each other. It kind of slid down, but that'll work out better now. So anyways, I keep that in there and this one just stacked on the top. I have another one here and then this is all gonna go in its own bin. I'm gonna have a whole craft, um, Christmas craft, because I've been doing like Christmas crafting, but um, I'm just sticking it in this bin because there's room for right now. But I will have it more organized. I just feel like as the years go on, you kind of just figure out what your system is, what you like. And um, you know, I know I need more craft bins because this is all of my craft stuff. So I'm gonna stick it back in that other bin, but this is pretty much all of the stuff that I'm gonna be crafting with next year. No, I need, so a crafting bin, I need a bin for my called wrapping stuff. 
I'm thinking I want something like big and flat, big like this, but like maybe half the size. So I'm thinking that might be good. I don't know, I do like how it stands up, but I found these ones at, not Target, Walmart, the day after Christmas, and they're super tall. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but they're way bigger than these ones, and which is nice when you have like big gifts for kids, but they're not gonna fit with a lid on them even if I bought a new one. So, anyways, I think I'm gonna keep this one in my downstairs closet, and because my goal this year is to wrap periodically throughout the year because I shop throughout the year and I want to just wrap them as I get them. So I'm thinking that's my goal this year and I'm going to be getting a tub like this so I can start storing gifts. Now um, what I also do is I'm going to show you guys this. There's a tablecloth in here. I buy these like super cheap tablecloths. I don't know if you can see this. It's still in its packaging. But I cover the gifts if they're in a clear bin. I'll cover them with one of these tablecloths, which is really a good idea. So any tablecloths you're not using, and I hate these plastic ones. I bought this for like a kid's table or something one year because they were like 350 or something super cheap, but now I don't use them, so I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna start covering up the kids' gifts with these. Or like if you're in, in there in your room or you're like wrapping, you can just throw these old Christmas ones on top. Anyways, let me give you one last view of everything. There it is but I love the way everything turned out for Christmas this year. I'll insert some videos for you guys, some clips of the kids and the Christmas trees and the presents, just so you guys can see since I was out and you guys couldn't see anything. And, um, but anyways, next year I'm hoping, like I wanna get in more vlogging. If you guys want to see like the day in the life of a crazy mom with crazy four kids and <laughs> homeschool and all that stuff, let me know in the comments below if that's something you guys would be interested in. I really want to start showing you guys what I do for like my toddler learning and stuff like that. I'm thinking should I start another channel or are you guys into that? Should I keep everything together with my mommy stuff? Let me know in the comments. I'm really curious to see what you guys think and um, you know I do this for you guys. All right, you guys ready? Merry Yay! Christmas! All right, you guys, what do you think? I think it's amazing, and I yeah. think there's like oh, you 22 country villains doing this in this group. We are so grateful to have this. Don't forgive me, don't forgive me. All right, the first most important favorite gift is my MacBook Pro. I'm so excited about it because I would not be making this video if I didn't get it. Thank goodness. And I also got this amazing pink case. It's really thick and it's really good. I got the one, the outer shell, but it's not the color I want. It's kind of peachy. I'm not into it. So I'm returning that. And then next I got a KitchenAid, which I'm so excited about. He got me the Tiffany Blue, which is such a good thought. But I really want the pink one or the white one. So I think I might exchange it for a different color. And then I got this Dyson blow dryer, which I'm super pumped about. I've been wanting to try this for so long. I wanted to get the curling iron one, but it was a lot more expensive. So I'm definitely excited to try this out, see if I like it, and maybe I'll upgrade to the other one. I got a bunch of fun footy socks that have grippers at the bottom. And then I also got this, it's like a self-defense thing. It's like a taser. So when you're walking to your car, like when it's dark out and you're going to the gym in the morning, you can protect yourself. And then I got this um, board where you can change the words, add pictures to it, which I think is super cute. And then I got a Polaroid camera, which I've been wanting one of these. So I absolutely love it. Hey you guys, I hope you enjoyed my Christmas organization video. I had so much fun doing this and I'm really glad you guys got to see a little peek of what I did for the holidays you know, since we had all the te technical difficulties, but I'm so glad to be back. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that little bell so you're notified. And if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you guys. Give me one last Christmas emoji down in the bottom and let me know that you did. Thank you guys again so much for watching. And until next time, I'm always your girl, Lana Marie. Heavenly echoes, secrets that we know. Doors that open for us in a moment.